how do I learn and how do I look at starting to live a life that uh, involves quality of life, purpose and meaning, even in the context of living with chronic pain. Because oftentimes pa patients are chasing you know, pain, pain, pain to get rid of it completely. And, when, and after a while of long-term chronic pain, oftentimes they're not going to get rid of that altogether. It's really about coming to some sort of acceptance and starting to uh, build life around, okay, how do we how do I do this? What is a, a life that's going to be worth living for me even though I'm dealing with some of these pain issues? It's counterintuitive sometimes with patients because pain pushes them into, you know, more restriction, more sedentary activity and um, the, the, the aspect of physical exercise seems to them sometimes like, well, that's not an option anymore. And actually a good part of pain management is some physical activity oftentimes getting into the water and like in a, in, a, in, a, in a swimming pool will oftentimes be a less painful way of doing exercise for example. Activities that will promote some mind and body relaxation because we know the more people are anxious and stressed their pain levels go up and how much is fear working? How much is are you making your decisions based on fear right now? I mean all the addressing issues like that start to then um, typically give the patient more of a sense of control that, and more, more self-efficacy, like confidence in themselves that, you know, even though I'm living with this chronic pain condition, I can still do A, B, C, D, and E. And a lot of times when they come in, they don't believe they can do any of that. Pain becomes all-encompassing. I, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it, for people that are living with it and have lived with it for a while, it's, it's like you, you can't get away from it and it starts to make, influence every single decision you make in your life. You know, and, and, and we want to gradually make that less so, you know, and so the theme of when, when we're able to shift attention into, you know, finding gradual small ways with it where people can engage in some of these activities, their confidence starts to grow. And as your confidence starts to grow, they begin to see things differently as well. And, you know, life starts to have more purpose, more meaning.